Are you ready? Yes, sir. So, Bernard, can you talk about the Mentum acquisition and how uh, you're positioning the product going forward in small cell? Yeah, sure. Um, the Mentum acquisition uh, really is, is about two things. First of all, it's about taking the data that is collected uh, from the network. You know, networks are, are becoming inc increasingly rich in terms of, of the data that, that, that exists in them. And obviously, InfoVista's core business is measuring that data, collecting that data, and transforming that data into information. So the Mentum acquisition is, is about taking that information and being able to use that information for decision making, uh, for the purpose of optimization, for example, uh, for the purpose of better planning, shortening the, the sales cycle in terms of the network planning and engineering, in order to reduce the network cost and at the same time improve the customer experience. That's one angle. The other element, which was very important to InfoVista, is the importance of the RF radio engineering or the RF skills, which is really the DNA of Mentum. Mentum was truly the, uh, a company focused on mobile and, and uh, radio performance. And that's very important. Mobile, mobile networks are all about radio. The radio channel is very tricky. It's a challenging environment. Um, but they are all IP networks at the same time. So it's important to have the IP and the radio expertise together. And that's really what this acquisition was bringing. The IP expertise of InfoVista and the very relevant expertise that exists there with the very relevant expertise that exists in Mentum with regards to, uh, to radio. Can you talk about how you're using social media to help plan small cell networks? Oh, that's an interesting question. Yes, indeed. Uh, well, with regards to social media, um, which are obviously uh, growing quite, uh, quite quickly, uh, they provide interesting hints as to where people are. Um, and what we are doing uh, is to take information about the feeds coming from the social uh, media and transforming them into a density of usage of the network resources. And that provides insights that can be used for the purpose of better understanding where the hotspots are. Now that is not in itself sufficient, but that's a very good insight which can be part of uh, be, or brought together with other information in order to create a completely cohesive view of where your demand is in the network. Because at the end of the day, small cell is all about being able to offload the macro network in order to get more headroom in terms of, of the capacity that you have. But for that to happen, you need to look at the demand. That's one a very important aspect. The other very important aspect is where your performance isn't, where your macro network is failing to perform. So those are, are the two aspects. So the social uh, media utilization is really about the demand. What other insights can you gather from the social media feeds in terms of behavior or sessions, and how does that play into the RF planning mode? Um, it's really not, there's not so much that can be collected uh, for privacy reasons. So it's really, it's really, the focus is truly on understanding where users are more than what they do. Uh, that element is not something that you can get from uh, the social feeds, at least that's not exposed at the moment. Great. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure.